Hello everyone, this is Catherine, your reference librarian, and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to sign up for the summer reading program through Beanstack. It's a really easy process on all sides. Um, to start, all you're going to need to do is go to situatelibrary.beanstack.org. Uh, you can type it into your address bar like I did. I'll have a link from our website. It doesn't matter how you get there. Uh, and when you do, it should look something like this. Um, the page describes how the challenge works. Um, and then underneath, you can click to register an individual or family or to register a class or group. As far as I know, pretty much everybody is going to want to register themselves or their family. So that's where you'll want to click. Um, at that point, it asks you if you've used Beanstack before. We have never had Beanstack, um, but it's possible you use it in another library system before moving here or something like that. Um, and if that's the case, you will be able to connect that old account to our library. But I haven't, and most of our users haven't, so I'm going to click no. Um, then it will ask if you want to register yourself or if you're registering for your child. If you're an adult and you want to register a child but you also want to participate, click I'm registering myself. You'll be able to add children to your account later. Uh, I am going to assume that you want to participate in my awesome challenge uh, and do that now. Uh, here it's a basic web form. You can, hmm, an old password in there. You can fill in your information. Uh, let's see, Jane. Um, so you can put your name, choose whatever sort of username you like. It can be goofy or it can just be your name. Um, like it says at the top of the page here, it is important to remember to give us an email address and or a phone number. And that's how we'll be contacting you if you win one of our prizes at the end of the summer. Um, so then we will create, uh, we'll, we'll give her a zip code. She's local. Um, and then we will give her a password. I'm just gonna use one of these securely generated ones, mostly because I will never be using this account again. Um, and I will tell the site that Jane is an adult, 18 plus. Uh, since that's the case, she won't be attending school. There is an adult option, but you can also just ignore it. Um, if you click this checkbox here, I just want it to be clear to you that uh, it's Beanstack that sends you recommendations. Um, and Beanstack is really awesome. Uh, just know that those recommendations aren't coming from us. Uh, you can always call or stop in if you want reading recommendations, um, but that's not what these emails are. Uh, so make your decision there and then click next. Uh, as soon as you do that, you earn your first badge. Um, everybody's getting one badge and at least one raffle ticket just for signing up uh, because that's how we do. Um, so. If you go through this process that I just described, you will have one raffle ticket that you can use towards one of our prizes at the end of the summer. You don't have to read a word. Uh, so I'll close that. Um, and then it's going to ask if you want to add another adult. Um, the accounts are family-based, so if you want, you and your partner or you and your best friend, if you want, can register together. Um, but we're just going to, for the sake of ease, say that our parent, our reader is a single parent. Um, so I will say we do not want to add another adult. Um, So when it asks if we want to add a child, uh, we're going to click yes. Um, anyone else that you add to this family, uh, the form afterwards is going to be shorter. They're going to use the same email address, phone number um, as you. So the child, uh, you just need to input their name, uh, their age, 
we'll say that Sarah is five uh, and that she is a homeschool student. Um, also, you can get recommendations for children. So you'll get weekly recommendations if you check both of those um, for adult books for the first children's book for this, whatever you like. Um, and then you will be able to register for the challenge. Uh, right now it's not open, so you will want to click pre-register. Um, select your child's grade level. Uh, Five-year-olds would be in kindergarten, as far as I know. Uh, and then you can click register. And just like the adults, you have automatically unlocked your first badge and one raffle ticket. Um, the kids have it really good with this challenge because Miss Elise is also giving away goodie bags and informational packets and stuff that you can pick up at the library for curbside pickup. Um, I, I don't do that, but you know, children. Um, so I will close that out and then hit next. Our fake reader um, only has one kid, so we will say we do not want to add another child. It says, great, you're set up. I say, great, let's continue. Um, and then it takes us to the Beanstack start page uh, where you can see all your challenges. We're in the main adults account. You can see Jane Garcia up here. Um, and let me just give you a little tour. So what we're gonna do is first is look at the challenge itself. So I'm gonna click return to the adult summer reading challenge. Um, it tells you congratulations, you've registered. Um, and it shows you all the information, all of the text I wrote, the imagery that uh, the summer reading program has, and all the badges you can earn. Um, as you can see here, you get a badge for every book you read, for completing activities, and for up to six book reviews left. Um, you can see that the number of books and reviews is cumulative. So that basically means after your first review, you will get the red heart badge. Um, and after your second review, you'll get the orange one. You don't have to leave two additional reviews. It's a total of two reviews to get the second badge. Um, don't worry about writing a million reviews to earn your badges. That's uh, okay, let's scroll back up. You can see all of these other tabs along the top. Uh, there are badges for the challenge, for uh, everything, for reading logs, for completing activities, for leaving reviews, things you've earned, which are just that, it's just that first one. You'll see that it has a ticket. Um, and the drawings uh, with a selection of raffle baskets currently to be decided. You can hold on to your tickets until they have been. Uh, and a log of everything that the reader has done. Um, Jane hasn't done anything yet. Um, because she can't until July 1st. But let me show you how to log it anyway. Um, all you'll want to do from any of these tabs, uh, pretty much anywhere on Beanstack when you're logged in is look at the very top of the page uh, where it, this blue button says log reading and activities. Um, so on the logging page, you get to choose uh, your adult, your child, or all readers. Um, Adults, please keep in mind that if you are reading with your kids, that counts for your program. You just have to log books. Um, so you can you can easily select all readers if you're going to log, you know, like I read Where the Wild Things Are with my, my, my kindergartner. That counts. Um, so, but for now, we will say that you did some more serious reading. Uh, so Jane is going to log a book. We'll say she finished it today, so we'll click that. We'll put in a title for the book. Uh, let's say that she read Little Women by Louisa 
May Alcott. Um, she's read it a dozen times, but we'll just say one uh, because that's how many times she read it today. Um, and we don't want to leave a review right now. Um, if you select yes in this box after you click log, it will take you to right where you need to leave your review. Um, but for now, just doing the reading was enough work. Um, so we will click log and you'll see that the page stays up so that you can log as many books as you have finished recently. Um, if you went on a reading spree, something like that, but we didn't. So we're just going to hit close. Uh, and you will see that that gets added to your log. Um, I also want to show you the challenge badges that I set up. Uh, sorry, the activity challenges that I set up. I think of them as challenges because they're challenging. Um, so over here I have five options for more challenging than just read any book. Uh, they're in five different categories and each of them wants you to read three books of a specific type. Uh, since we just logged Little Women, let's head to the classics one. Uh, so to earn this badge, uh, you need to read or watch adaptations of three classic works of literature. Um, and I gave very specific recommendations, Jane Austen, Nikolai Gogol, Charles Dickens, Virginia Woolf, but also uh, just anything you've been meaning to get to. So you will be able to check this box uh, and log that you read Little Women. Um, as you can see, a red window pops up that says, this activity is part of a challenge that has not started. Please try again on July 1st. Uh, but when July 1st comes around, you'll be able to do that. Um, I want to stress that this is the honor system. If you come in here and just check the first three on the challenge, nobody will know, uh, but it seems like it might be fun to try and finish as many challenges as possible. Uh, I particularly like the World Traveler Challenge that I set up, which has uh, you reading books from all around the world. Um, and to complete that one, I also made a book list uh, that will help. Oh, did we get logged out? Okay, well, let's head back. Okay, we're logged in again. Um, so, oh, I'm, I know what happened. Uh, so let me just uh, show you where those lists are. If you're looking for a list of recommendations, it's right here. You can go to recommendations and I have made several. Um, and the one you would need for that one is World Traveler. Um, if you read any three books from this list, even if they're technically all from the same place, you get that challenge. Uh, they're all amazing books from around the world. Nothing in England, nothing in the United States, um, potentially nothing in Canada. No, I included Canada on purpose. Uh, so it's, it's stuff from authors from all around the world. Uh, so that is one of your challenges this summer. Um, okay, so let me go back to just something interesting to look at. We'll go back to our challenge overview. Um, so basically that's it, very simple. Um, as a final note, we're obviously just launching this site for Summer Reading 2020, but the challenges aren't gonna stop here. Uh, we hope that we can bring you new reading programs and challenges every season, as well as some ongoing programs. Uh, Miss Elise is, is really hoping to get a thousand books before kindergarten up and running online um, after summer reading is over. Um, and I wanna do an annual reading challenge for adults, maybe like a Dewey challenge or something like that, uh, read from every genre sort of challenge. Um, so that's it. Uh, get in touch with us if you have any questions, any troubles, um, or if there are any reading challenges that you would love for us to set up in the future. Um, thank you for watching.